you. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm not in New York anymore. I'm in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I'm going to work from here for the next week or so. It is my second time in Buenos Aires. I was here just a year ago, but I loved the city so much that I decided to come back. So join me in visiting my favorite coffee shops, eating the best steak I've ever had, and just exploring the city day by day. Let's go. I am staying at an Airbnb, and the first thing that I did when I arrived was to set up my remote workspace. I'm going to upload a detailed video on this later, but it's super important for me to stay productive while working abroad to not compromise on efficiency. I took a couple of days of PTO, but most days during my time in Buenos Aires I actually spent working my regular work hours. And whenever I do this, I want to make sure that I have a good ergonomic setup, but also a high quality video setup for my remote calls, so all of the people that I work with are not impacted by me spending time in Argentina. After my first day, I spent some time exploring the parks because I'm staying in Palermo and the area there is so, so, so pretty and this park is just a dream for me. After that little walk, I was trying to find my first steak in Argentina. Well, not my first steak ever, but my first on this trip at least. And typically I don't drink a lot of wine, nor do I eat a lot of meat, but in Argentina you just have to because the quality is so, so, so good. Especially if you're traveling with US dollars, Argentina is a really good place to be. Typically people in Argentina give about a 10% tip, but I decided often to give 20%, 25%, simply because I was always reminded of the bad economy in Argentina and I just felt bad. However, after that steak I was very tired, so I went home to sleep. Good morning to another beautiful day in Buenos Aires. During my entire time, or whenever I travel, especially when I work and travel, I try to keep up with the routine that I have in New York as well. I'm someone that really thrives with a good routine, but in Argentina I was struggling. If you look back at the dinner from the day before, you will notice that I was alone in that restaurant, and that has a very specific reason. Keep watching to find out why. So here I'm making my matcha because I'm always, always, always traveling with my matcha. I still don't love coffee and I'm thriving with matcha in my body. That's also a reason why I typically get Airbnbs because I want to be able to have kitchen access and just make my breakfast whenever I want to. A day before I also went to the grocery store there so I got essential items like Greek yogurt, milk, almonds, etc. And now, why was I alone in that restaurant the day before? Well, it was 7 p.m. when I was eating, which is a very standard time for me to eat dinner. However, people in Argentina like to have late dinner, so they eat at 10 p.m. And honestly, that was the biggest struggle for me in my routine, because I cannot eat dinner every day at 10 p.m. Here I am on my way to the Pilates studio that I found. I found one person that is teaching in English because my Spanish is not that great yet. And it's super critical for me to work out every single day in the morning because otherwise I just don't feel happy. And especially when I'm traveling, I want disability there. After my little workout, I went on a walk in the neighborhood in Palermo and I found those cute bikes. I didn't know Buenos Aires has them too. Typically when I'm in New York City and it's the summer, I'm on a city bike the entire time. I go anywhere, I don't really care, even above the bridges. I also found a cute coffee shop. You will see a ton of coffee shops in this video. A problem that I had in Buenos Aires was that my phone did not like the mobile network there, so I often had to sit down at a coffee shop to use the Wi-Fi. And on that day I really wanted to talk to my mom and just catch her up on what I was doing. But at some point after talking to her for 30 minutes, I decided to go back because my workday had to start. I'm going to a coffee shop now. And this is what I'm wearing to go out. I'm taking my lovely DJI Pocket Pro because I want to film some content from the street. So let's see where it goes. And at that point it was already 10.30 a.m. So I really wanted to get started with my workday. And given the time difference, I think Buenos Aires is one hour ahead of New York. I usually use the mornings for catching up on my emails, on all the things that I need to do. And I took most of my meetings in the afternoon and probably until like 7 or 8 p.m. After finishing my workday, I grabbed a bottle of rosé from a local winery here. 
I honestly didn't feel like doing much and I think sometimes when you're traveling and especially working and traveling you just need some time to relax. So I decided to stay in and watch Netflix. I found a new show, Coisa Mais Linda, which is a Brazilian show and I love it. Welcome to the next day. Today I decided to go to the office that we have in Buenos Aires. And I mean, look at the view. It was incredible. I was really happy. I was very productive while working there. The good thing was that no one really knows me there and I was just able to focus on the work, get the food that we have in the office and also talk to some local people here that work here. I stopped working at about 7 p.m. and after that I was exhausted, first of all. However, I couldn't relax much because I had plans with a friend of mine in Buenos Aires. So I needed to get ready and here's me doing my hair. I found this really, really cool tool that I used to do curls. If you're a woman and you want to know, it's in the bio below. And now let's get dressed. Whenever I went out in Buenos Aires, I felt a bit overdressed. I don't think I figured out what they're wearing. However, my friend took me to this super cute jazz club here. And for a couple of moments, I really felt like I was in New York, but it definitely has a Latin influence too. The next day was the weekend, yay. And I decided to walk around all of Palermo. The photo that you just saw was exactly the amount of walking that I did. I think it was about 23 kilometers. It took me about eight hours. But honestly, just walking around a city that is walkable is one of my favorite things to do when I travel. I don't need fancy restaurants, I don't need a lot of fancy things to do. I just want to explore the city, see how locals live, see the coffee shops, sit there, get inspired and just take it all in. And what I really like about Buenos Aires is not just the architecture, but it's also that it feels like Europe sometimes for me. Okay, this was part one. Watch out for part two.